Yeah. All right, guys. Good morning. Back out. It's uh, part three of the <laughs> part three of the intro, and uh, I got Scott with me today. Let's go. So uh, today we're gonna do a little friendly competition. See who can catch the most. How many do you think you're gonna pull up today? Oh, I, I, if I get less than 12, I'm not gonna be happy, I'll tell you right now. If I get less than 12, I'm not coming back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think, heaviest fish? How oh, much? Oh, I think, I think I'm, I'm definitely in at least 20, 25 pounds. You in? I'm, I'm <laughs> easily. He's, he's gonna, gonna, I'm gonna be using the walleye technique in weighing. <laughs> He's We're breaking another rod today. Watch that video. <laughs> but I might be using the walleye technique where I take all of my weights and shove them down the throat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to call that bluff. We'll cut that fish wide open. <laughs> oh, it's great, great weather we're having, though. It's going to be a nice day. It is. It is indeed. guys good morning now the last thing I want to do on this morning is get political and Biden got us at $5.99 for a gallon of diesel fuel and diesel fuels what carts our food around and if that keeps going up prices and food are gonna keep going up and when prices of food are gonna keep going up restaurants are gonna go up business is gonna close and I don't want to say the word but we got a recession coming and it ain't, it ain't looking good for the next few years make sure you get out and vote you know, this is the price of diesel, but it's always also the price of heating fuel in the state of Maine. Now, I'd say it's not a political rant, but Biden did take office and promised to end fossil fuel. And, uh,. You're gonna do that by grabbing us by the balls and twisting. But I can tell you one thing. You can twist these nuts as hard as you want. As long as my truck's running, I'm gonna be running there. Yeah, I got that torque converter lockup switch. Woo woo! Good morning. So it's a beautiful Sunday. I'm out here today with Scott. Right now we're on the steam out. Been about an hour, got about an hour left. Uh, got a beautiful sunrise behind me. You can see it right here. So uh, hopefully today is a good day. Meet some new people, catch some new fish.
Okay. A little competitive check-in. How are we doing over here? Uh, let's take a look. I got two, two haddock and a cuss. Oh. Oh, I'm on six dogfish. Oh, I've been. I have, My hand hurts so bad right now. I have, I have successfully. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Not saying it. Not saying it's jinxed. I don't want that, anything to You're happen. dodging them? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, no. Is this no whole side. Right is this whole side doing better? Uh, we're doing okay. We're just getting slammed with dogfish over there. I hate. I just got a hate that was huge. Nice. And uh, we've been seeing. I saw two or three really nice pollock. Yeah. Really nice pollock pulled up. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure if it's bait or jigs or what, but we haven't got anything nice on this side. Oh seriously? Nothing. Uh, yeah, there's been a couple of a couple of nice pollock. Yeah. Not by me. Oh yeah. Just the same. Right on. That was a good check in. All right. Hold on. So, uh, you're kicking my butt, right? Nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> zero on the board. I'm a little bit better than zero, but just a little. So, we'll see. We'll check in again after the next drop. Next spot. Yeah, next. Excellent. It's the next one.
keep it, right? How you doing? I took the blurple hooks off and I used the ones that come with the boat because they're smaller and it started, the hook set started working. Okay. So how are you doing? How many haddock you got? Two. I got three, but now I know what I'm doing. So it makes a big difference. All right. So I would ask if you're, if you're using those hooks, I would ask that the mates to swap you out for the regular ones. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, how are, how's everyone else? <clears throat> uh, it's hit or miss. That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, I just pulled up a, 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 um, a cod and I oh, nice. sent it back down. Oh, you did? You yeah, oh, yeah. You go. It's, awesome. it's shit all over me, but I That's sent it back right. down, man. That's great. You guys see that mold? Moldy bread. That's not good for your sandwich. So I just got to eat it. Lithium 34, that's where we spend 90s alternative and brunch all day, every day. We're picking away. With very few exceptions. Oof. But those exceptions include Beastie Boys and Nine Inch Nails. So if that's your thing, you should check it out. Now, if you want to stretch that a little further, we have an app exclusive channel called Lithium Strip, which is rip the mold off. versions of the same song and bands that you would hear on Lithium. Let me give you a That's example. not good. From their <laughs> didn't see that when you were making your sandwich for the corner, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> More oh, shit. Ah, uh, what I can't see won't hurt me, right? <laughs> How you doing over here? Not. Everyone else is slamming them. How about you? Three. Same. Three and a, a Mac. I got a, I got a cusp too. Nice.
I win the pool. Excuse me. Ah, nicely done! <laughs> right. I don't no. think I've ever seen anyone pull up hauling a squid before. That's awesome. Yeah, it's that still face, breathing. Can I touch This is going to be what, 19? The race to the top. Man versus machine. Yeah. <laughs> I started halfway up, right? That looks like a special lunch item. <laughs> because normal Rice Krispies are full size. So those are those are mini, you know. <laughs> mini tells a whole story in itself. <laughs> oh yeah. Fucking friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Bones sometimes they had their songs other people didn't first and
What do you got? Salsa. It ain't that bad. Did you make it yourself? No, the wife makes it. No. Okay. <laughs> Even better, right? Mm -hmm. That little kick Yeah, it's pretty good. Are you another one? Yeah, I can Homemade salsa you got there? Only got garden iron ass. What? Only like a personal garden and stuff or no? Yeah, my god. Yeah. That's pretty like good. I have some. Yeah, sure. Sample. I didn't have like good homemade salsa. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Homemade. We make pickles, salsa, and salmon. Oh, hell yeah. She made it. <laughs> I throw the wee in there, you know? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's good salsa, right? I'll take it, man. Oh, all right. Keep them. All right. Seriously. Oh, yeah, thank you. I like 20 of them. Actually, that's something that'll go right with that. Hold on. All right. Oh, for real? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, dude hell yeah. Dude, we traded. Consider it a trade, man. Did you make this? Oh, God, no. I got it at the front desk, but the ones they have at the front desk are the best jigs I've ever used. So. Oh, yeah, I'll run this. Yeah, greatly appreciated. Got a smile. Come on. Take a look. What do you think? They look good. You want different ones? Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, guys, that ends the day. Going back in. And now it's about four o'clock. Scott had, uh, I think Scott said seven or five haddock and three cusk for a total of eight. I came out with seven haddock, two mackerel, one squid. You know, I'm not counting, but I mean, you know, hey, follow you, man. <laughs> Go check out Scott's page too. Great guy, great content. Uh, but it was a great day. Absolutely slammed, slammed, and I'm I can't stress that enough. It was just a dog day. There were so many dog fish out here today. 
oh, I think the first eight, eight fish I pulled up were all dogfish. And then uh, the captain did what he could do to get us into a better spot. Um, the reason we had such a dogfish type of day was uh, due to the storm that just went by the hurricane, stir everything up. So it gave them a little bit more of a opportunity to feed. Um, so, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. I'm gonna reschedule my next trip out. And, uh, probably another month. Gonna continue doing monthly monthly uh, Eastman trips. I really enjoy it. It's, it makes great content. I hope you guys enjoy it too. And uh, bringing, bringing all the fish home whole. I'm gonna use the heads and the bodies for lobster bait. And I'm gonna teach my son Miles and Baxter if he wants to learn too. Maybe even my daughter Madeline uh, how to cut it up and uh, how to fillet a haddock. So that's it. Look at it, just not super flat out there today. Super flat. Real nice. Show you guys where we are. Pull up the old JPAS. most of the day out over here in this area on the opposite side of Jeffrey's Wedge and uh, so we got that much longer to go so yeah just chilling everyone's getting their fish cut up back of the boat Thanks for watching.